What's up everybody, Jack here from Half Crumb. Today, I'm doing kind of half rant, half review. We're talking about chargers, and I kind of have a beef with a lot of them. Uh, I think they should be better. I think that they should have different features. Um, and I'll talk about a couple of the newer ones that I like, but just don't quite fit the bill for me. Stay tuned. Okay, here are a couple of new ones that I got. This is the ISD T P30 Smart Charger. This thing's almost $200. You can charge two to eight ass batteries. It's got a touch screen, kind of, um, uh, up to uh, 1,500 watts max charging power. Um, you know, one channel charge uh, up to 1,000. Then I've got this one that's a little bit smaller. It's the uh, Toolkit RC M6D Dual Smart Charger, 500 watts. Um, again, it's the Dual 2 to 6S. Um, it's got that new improved fan. Both of these have a spot to charge your cell phone. Um, and right off the bat, you're going to see something I dislike, right? How we power these things, right? So uh, they're both powered by DC batteries. And, I, I, you know, that's fine and all because you can use them out in the field. But why not also... Add a spot for AC power, right? So this is my good old 1S uh, balance charger that came with came with some drone, and I can power this off of a lipo, or I can plug, plug it into the wall. And you know that's how that's how I like to charge my batteries. Most of the time, I'm charging at home, so why the heck not give us that option? Okay, so you know here's a couple of older chargers that I use. This uh, Sky RC 200 is what I use most of the time. Then this is kind of like the classic old school charger that everybody uses, right? So right off the bat, you know, like I said, I don't like the DC only option. So something that you can do uh, to kind of make that easier is buy something like this. This is a converter, um, power converter from Toolkit RC. This is like 20 bucks. Um, so you're going to have to add that if you want to charge at home without, you know, a giant LiPo battery. You got to pick one of these up. This is 20 bucks, right? So $200, $65 plus another uh, $25 or more, uh, kind of depending on how you want to charge it. Now let's start with this guy here, this big old one. Now this is an XT90. I don't have a single XT90 battery, uh, so I had to use a converter to get it to XT60, um, and then I can plug it in, right? So it'll work, um, and it powers up. It's got this nice dual screen. I do really like that. And then when I ch uh, plug in a battery, all right, so when I get my battery plugged in, you can see the voltage on each cell, which is really nice. Charging, it's pretty simple, right? Um, I can change the uh, amperage, and then I can go ahead and start. So it's not an, actually a touch screen. Um, it's, <laughs> it's touch on the side of the screen, right? So, you know, it is nice. It shows you um, what you're charging at. You can change that. It'll charge various different battery compositions. I only use LiPos, but, you know, it does pretty much everything you'd ever want it to. Um, it has Bluetooth. I don't know why you would need Bluetooth. Charging your batteries is... It's dangerous, right? It's probably my least favorite part of this hobby um, because the chargers, they're expensive. They're not well-equipped, they're not intuitive, um, and they're dangerous, right? Everything is, is dangerous when it comes to these batteries. So you don't leave it uh, unattended. Um, you know, this is a 1500 milliamp hour battery. I'm charging it at 1.5 amps. So you can see that it kind of fluctuates a little bit. And it is nice because it'll give you the readout of the cell as we're going. Okay. So it's a nice charger, uh, but you know, what don't I like, right? The XT90, that's no good. Um, maybe if it was XT90, XT60, if they included uh, perhaps an adapter, but I want something for AC power as well. Also, it's only XT60 connectors here, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, I fly a lot of things that have XT30s and I have to build uh, little conversion connectors like these to make it happen. So that's kind of a bummer, right? So why not XT60 and XT30? Why not have a port on the back so I can charge this thing at home? I mean, this is almost $200. It just should have better functionality, right? So that's my take on this one, right? Let's take a look at the uh, MD or M6D from Toolkit RC. Now, this one I think is a little bit more, I actually kind of prefer this one here. 
Um, it's smaller, right? So, you know, it's not nearly as powerful, but I don't need all of that power. I don't need all of that juice. And again, uh, something I dislike about this, there's no XT30 connectors. I gotta buy this special adapter or make one. Um, it's just not, you know what, hey, especially something this small, you know, being able to charge in the field is great, but being able to charge at home is also fairly useful. So let's plug these batteries in so you can kind of see how that works. Again, you're gonna get a readout of the, um, the individual voltage, which is nice. You can charge to uh, four, three, five, if that's your thing, um, or just four, two. Um, you know, you've got this little wheel so we can kind of, again, switch between. Um, yeah, so I wanna start, push the button. Okay, right, and I can see that we're charging here. I click the button here and it'll switch to the other one. I can go ahead and start charging that if I so choose, but why the heck not? Right, charging at the right, uh, again, the right amperage, 0.3 uh, amps for a 300 milliamp hour battery. That's what I wanna do, ending at 4.2. I don't overcharge here, and we go. Right, so, $65, I would recommend this one over the ISDT. You know, if you need a heavy duty charger, right, then you understand the limitations, right? It's nice, it's, it is really nice, but you know, battery chargers, battery charging companies just, I, I feel like they're missing the boat. They, they don't understand, you know, not everybody, a very small percentage of people just need to charge in the field um, and have batteries that, you know, would work with things like this. So uh, why not also have the ability to charge at home or include something like this um, where you can, you know, pull off the wall. I also think uh, not having XT30s is short-sighted and I can't charge any of my 1S batteries. Why not have some sort of little mini balance? You know, this this came with a, a you know, a, a tiny whoop. Why can't I have something that works with my 1S batteries too, right? So do I want a lot with my charger? Yes, I do. Why not expect more? Expect more and someday eventually we'll get it. So I think battery companies are missing the boat. Also, you know, how do I safely charge these, right? So if I had to walk away, I don't feel confident in this. You know, those battery bags just aren't, you know, they're just not, they're better than nothing, but they're just not safe enough. So we need a better all-in-one charging solution where, you know, I feel safer. Um, it works with all my batteries and it works with my power outlets. Plus, hey, why can't I bring it on the road? So yes, I want more, I want better. This is decent, right? So if I had to choose, you know, what would I recommend? I'd actually probably recommend this little guy, this M6D from Toolkit RC. You know, if you need something big and beefy, then, you know, this ISDT for 200 bucks is, is nice. But, you know, I just find it hard to justify the dinero on something like this when it's just, you know, it's still lacking uh, a lot of stuff. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, hey, give us a thumbs up. If not, leave a comment down below and let me know what I can do better next time. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com where we have everything from photography to FPV. Hey, good luck and happy flying.